Diamond Painting Addicts and welcome back to Diamond Painting Anonymous. I'm Daphne and I am here today to share with you the decant and finish of my Huacan Flamingos. So I will stick a picture over there so you can see uh, what the artwork looks like. This is going to be a bit of a, a different decant, uh, mostly because I'm not going to actually be decitting these drills. I'm not going to be saving any of these drills, uh, and I will explain why. So uh, let me, first of all, let me move my drills out of the way here, and I will show you the canvas, which is not something I usually do first, but... In this instance, I think that explains better. So don't go anywhere. I'll be right back with the canvas. Right. And ta-da, here is the canvas. So let me see, I may need to zoom this out a little bit so you guys can see the whole canvas. I think, I think, there we go. I think that lets you see the whole thing, okay. So as you can see, it turned out really well. I'm actually happy with how it looks once it's completed. I, you know, it was a simple design, just the two little flamingos, lots of kind of palm fronds and, you know, tropical water and very pretty colors. And I like the flamingos. So all of that being said, I'm not mad at it. Um, I am, however, extremely frustrated. So I've, this is one of the new to me companies. I had never done a Hua can before. And when I unboxed this one, I got kind of some mixed responses from people. Some people were like, oh, Hua can's great. You'll love it, blah, blah, blah. And then I had other people who were telling me that Hua can was part of the Dromageddon. Whenever that happened, that was before I started diamond painting. So I don't really know what happened there. But after diamond painting this, I think I understand. So just some details about the canvas first. It is a 30 by 40. It actually measures about 29.5 by 38.8. Uh, it is a full square, as you can see. There were 35 colors. Um, it did include the DMC codes. It was double-sided adhesive. So um, I haven't done double-sided adhesive in a while. Uh, in fact, I don't know that I've done a double-sided adhesive since I did my Diana. But anyway, I, the double-sided adhesive doesn't matter to me. I'm, I'm fine with either one. This is one that I, it's a Hua can, but I ordered it from the Hua can store on Amazon. So I ordered it on the 13th and I got it on the 14th and I started it April 1st and I finished it April 8th. So it was $12 and 97 cents and it took me 20 hours and 15 minutes to complete. So not bad for 30 by 40. And again, I do like the look of it. However, uh, I started down here in this corner and I started working my way um, through all the sections. By the time I was done with this section, I was ready to tear my hair out. This blue color, which is one of the main colors, there's three colors, this blue, this green, and then this darker green. All three of those colors, which are the biggest colors, you know, the biggest number of drills of the entire canvas, all have popping drills. Now, I have gone back, I have pulled up the ones that I saw that were popping. I have replaced them with ones that were smaller to help with that issue because there were some very irregular drills. Um, and I think I mostly got it worked out. I also went over this many, many, many times with a very heavy marble rolling pin to try and get the drills to stick um, as best I could to uh, the canvas, but I'm being very, very careful with it until I get it put away in my portfolio book because yeah, popping drills. Now I will say they weren't popping everywhere, uh, but enough to be frustrating. And I'm actually looking forward to getting back to uh, working on my Diamond Art Club Phoenix square because these squares were a headache. However, uh, it did not defeat me. I finished it, even with all the popping drills, and I'm proud of myself for 
continuing on and completing it, even if it was kind of a pain at the time. Uh, so really, this is just an excuse for me to buy another Flamingo diamond painting because this one didn't turn out as well as I had hoped. So, uh, yeah, I don't know if I'll get another who I can. I mean, like I said, I don't hate it. I like the image. Um, I think it rendered well for the size and most of the drills that the, the pinks and everything were not an issue. It was <laughs> the three main background colors, which made it such a pain. And I will admit at one point I considered going back and getting out some spares of these colors and just working with those to see if I could make it work. But then it became sort of a, um, not just a, a contest of I'm going to finish this, but also, you know, I want to give you guys my honest opinion. And if I completed it and then was like, oh, it's great. And you know, that wouldn't be honest. And if I finished it with other drills, I mean, it might have saved me some aggravation, but I want to do a complete, you know, honest review of what my experience was. And while it wasn't terrible, it's not the worst diamond painting I've ever done. It certainly was not the greatest either. So I am glad I finished it, like I said, but I am not going to be saving any of these drills. So all of these drills are going to be going straight into my trash because, and I will admit that I considered keeping some of the colors simply because, you know, like I said, not all of them gave me issues. But then I decided, well, you know, maybe some of them felt like they weren't giving me issues because they were not bad in comparison to the three ones that were so major. And after the amount of frustration that I felt doing this, I just don't want to put myself up for that again, especially since a lot of my spares, this was one of the colors that gave me problems and look how much I have left of it. I mean, on the upside, I had enough left that I could pick through it, but yeah, still a pain. And because I use my spares and I'm planning to use my spares for my heaven and earth designs, I definitely do not want subpar drills being used on those canvases. And, you know, again, not every drill was bad but I just don't want to take the chance. And once I get them kind of mixed in, you know, there's no real way to tell them apart. So into the trash can they go. Eventually at some point I will have this filled up enough that I'm going to do something with it. I don't quite know what. I was actually watching somebody streaming on Twitch who was doing a diamond painting. She was very new to diamond painting and she was asking, you know, what do you do with all of these leftover ones? Because she didn't want to just throw them in the trash and have them go to the landfill. And I've seen some people on, on Instagram doing some interesting projects with leftover drills. So I got to say that's kind of fun. I don't know because this is technically trash drills and ones that really aren't going to be great for things. Uh, I don't know that I would be doing that with it. My thought is to do something kind of like, well, I can't really do like sand art with it now because I've not kept, I mix mine up. I don't keep it, you know, kind of different layers of color just because most of the time you can't anyway, because there's not enough of, you know, one color to make a complete layer. I guess if I got a smaller, you know, a container with a smaller circumference, like a mason jar or something, maybe I could do that. But what I'm planning to do with this is, well, what I, what I had in my head when I started keeping my trash drills this way was that I would basically get this big jar filled up full of trash drills and then I would do something like, uh, you know, a lamp base or something with all of these drills inside of it for the color, just for it to be kind of a pretty, you know, kind of kaleidoscope colorful thing because it's going to have all different colors in it because this is all, 
you know, kind of my trash drills. So certainly adding in all of these pinks and blues and kind of tropical colors is helping that. For the longest time, it has been basically just black and dark colors. So I guess I can be thankful for that part of it. I'm even though I'm basically just trashing all of these drills, I'm adding all of these pretty colors into my future lamp base. I just thought it would be kind of fun. And some of these colors, there weren't hardly any drills left anyway. I mean, look at this one. I've got maybe not even 10 drills left in there. So I don't know if there would have been a point to me saving them anyway when there were that few number of drills. So, so yeah, an interesting experience for my first Hua can. Like I said, I don't know that I will buy another one, but it was definitely a learning experience and that's what I'm here for. So, you know, let me know in the comments down below uh, if you've ever done a hula can and what your experience was, I'm curious to, you know, kind of know, is this just a, a one-off thing? Did I just get unlucky and have, uh, you know, a, a bad batch of drills with this particular kit? Uh, has anybody out there done a hula can that they really, really liked? And if so, which one was it? And, you know, maybe it was because I bought this from their Amazon store. I mean, I would assume they all come from the same place, but maybe these are like leftovers or I don't know. Anyway, yeah, let me know in the comments below. Okay, so I'm going to shake up my, my drills here. That's much more colorful. My, my black is mixed in much more now that... I've got some of those colors added in there, so I'm happy with that. And I've still got quite a ways to go before I fill that, that canvas or that jar up. And I shouldn't have closed it yet because I forgot to show you guys the actual trash from this kit. You won't be surprised to see that most of it is the um, those three colors that I was showing you. And some of them are stuck in here because they're ones that I peeled off the canvas to put in the trash because they were popping. So, so you can see a lot of them are stuck together because they're ones that I pulled off the canvas. Uh, that one's got something black on it. There's one stuck to me. Uh, some of them have tabs on them. You can see that pink one right there has a tab on it. So yeah, I mean, not a horrible amount of trash for the size of the kit. But just because I had to pull off so many of those kind of blue and green ones because they kept popping. So, and I think I may give my uh, canvas a once over with my rolling pin one more time before I actually um, put it in my portfolio. So there are all my drill jars empty. So now my case can be used for something else. And I can finish filling out my diamond painting log book and I can get this uh, cut up and put in my portfolio book. So I will trim all the edges off, including the washi tape. So I have nothing but the drills left. I may leave a little bit of an edge just because of how weird this one is being. And then I take a big black piece of cardstock, about 11 by 17 and I will center it on that and then it slides into a sheet in my portfolio book and that is where it will live. So yeah, there you go guys. There is my thoughts on the finish of my Hua Can Flamingos. Again, let me know in the description down below what your experience has, with Hua Can has been. I'm curious to see what other people think and yeah. Before you leave, guys, don't forget to do all the things. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and hit that bell notification icon so that you can be informed of future uploads. And as always, guys, thanks so much for watching.